Have you noticed that some tokens have the word wrapped in front of them? Like wrapped BTC or wrapped if? What are they? In this video, we are going to explore wrapped tokens, how they work, and towards the end, we'll look at some of the advantages and disadvantages that come with them. Let's get into it. As their name suggests, they are essentially wrapped so that they can work on other blockchains and their value is tied to that of the underlying cryptocurrency. So one wrapped BTC is equal to one BTC. But why would we need wrapped BTC when we have the original of the same value? Okay, so you know how the games on your phone naturally wouldn't work on your PC, but they could work with the help of special software? Tokens are almost the same. The thing is, most blockchains are not interoperable. Take Bitcoin, for example. It can't work on the Ethereum blockchain unless it is wrapped. All right, more on other advantages later. But first things first, how exactly do wrapped tokens work? For a token like Bitcoin to be wrapped, there are three major players. You, the investor, your token to be wrapped, and a custodian. The custodian is a set of codes that acts as the bridge between you, your original token, and the wrapped token. Additionally, the custodian guarantees that the value of the original token is the same as its wrapped version. So once you send your tokens to be wrapped, the custodian will mint an equivalent amount in wrapped tokens. Since new tokens are created in the process, your original tokens have to be locked in a special kind of digital vault. So no, your money doesn't double. That said, the wrapped token can also be unwrapped and turned into its original form via the same custodian through a process known as burning. Basically, the wrapped token is destroyed and the tokens that were previously locked are released. Okay, now that you have the basic understanding of wrapped tokens, let's take a look at some popular wrapped tokens. At number one, we have WBTC, Bitcoin, but on Ethereum. As much as Bitcoin is the biggest cryptocurrency, its underlining technology lags behind its competitors in some ways. For starters, Bitcoin's use case on its blockchain is limited to the transfer of value. Ethereum offers many more services, which include running decentralized applications in decentralized finance or DeFi ecosystem. Basically, DeFi refers to financial services that are offered on public blockchain Chains, which can range from lending your crypto to earn interest to getting instant crypto loans without filling out paperwork. So until 2019, Bitcoin holders were missing out on these services. But now with wrapped Bitcoin, users can easily tap into the DeFi ecosystem and its applications. For instance, platforms like Aave allow users to connect their wallets and instantly get access to lending and borrowing services. Okay, imagine this situation. You hold Bitcoin and need some cash, but don't want to sell your coins. So now what? Well, you could wrap your Bitcoin, deposit it in Aave as collateral, and take out a loan in stable coins, which are non-volatile assets pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar or other fiat money. So you use the cash, and when ready, you settle the loan, and your wrapped BTC is released. As you can see, wrapped BTC gives more flexibility with how you can use Bitcoin, which was previously limited to sending and receiving. All right, let's check out another popular wrapped token wrapped ethereum all right we know what you may be thinking why do we need to wrap if on its own blockchain well the thing is ethereum has a set of rules a token must follow to ensure it is compatible with other ethereum based services and platforms so the tokens must meet a certain standard called the erc20 standard and if does not conform to its own standard weird we know well that's not all Unlike BTC, you don't actually wrap if at all. To acquire it, you can simply trade if for W if through a smart contract or on a digital wallet like MetaMask. So with W if, you get a tradable version of if that's compliant with DeFi protocols. You should keep in mind that apart from W if and WBTC, there are other wrapped tokens available for other chains 
such as Wrapped BNB and Wrapped AVAX, to name a few. Now on to the next segment of the video, advantages and disadvantages of wrapped tokens. The first and one of the most important advantages of wrapped tokens is interoperability. Unlike in the past, you can now use your Bitcoin on the Ethereum network by wrapping them. And as we mentioned, this gives you access to different services offered by dApps on Ethereum. Interoperability also comes with its own perks. Okay, a quick illustration. Say a wolf joins a new pack. The wolf can now enjoy the perks of its new pack, right? Whether it's more food or even better security. Similarly, a wrapped token say, WBTC, is able to tap into the perks like increased transaction speeds, which are offered by their new blockchain. For instance, Ethereum can support double the transactions per second that Bitcoin can. As for transaction fees, many networks offer lower transaction fees. Hence, wrapping a token to run on that blockchain means you get to enjoy cheaper transactions. Next, we have increased liquidity, one of the most important aspects of every market and asset. Basically, liquidity is the ability to buy or sell assets in the market without causing a drastic change in the asset's price. That said, we know that Bitcoin has liquidity far greater than any other cryptocurrency. With WBTC, some of this liquidity can be transferred to the Ethereum network through its use in DeFi applications for lending, borrowing, or trading, as mentioned earlier. This way, WBTC is helping in shifting trade volume away from centralized exchanges to decentralized exchanges, which is generally a good thing for the growth of crypto. All right, there are also some disadvantages of using wrapped tokens, like custodian reliance. While wrapped tokens are looking to always improve, they still rely on a custodian to be wrapped or unwrapped. This goes against the whole idea of cryptocurrencies by bringing about centralization. The issue here is that when wrapped tokens are minted, it's not done directly in the desired blockchain, but rather through a central program. That said, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, and in the future, these disadvantages may be removed. Overall, it's cool that there is a way to increase the utility of cryptocurrencies through interoperability. This is great, not only for the cryptocurrencies themselves, but also for the whole ecosystem in general, as it brings networks and blockchains closer to each other. So what do you think? Are you going to consider wrapping your Bitcoin or Ether now? We'd love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow Follow us on all socials for future alpha. See ya!